Welcome guys. Um, I'm making a video. Um, I, I've, I've done this before, but maybe I can do a better job uh, clarifying. Um, so I have a part uh, that was already done on a different machine, but uh, all this part needs is technically two flats. Okay, so one flat on top and one flat on the bottom. Um, technically, the part is gonna look like this, right? Uh, so I'm gonna do flat here and flat here. From here to here, it's supposed to be 870. The rest of the part is one inch. Now, so you have to calculate uh, 870 and um, 870 when I've mentioned before uh, doesn't matter if it's two flats or four flats this is gonna work the same you have to know this dimension as you see so normally it will be this one it's very simple you divide 8 uh, to divide by 870 right then you're gonna get your number but this one is a little bit harder to divide and there's formulas and there's apps that will actually give you the radius from center technically over here so how are we gonna calculate well this is gonna be kind of like a trial thing so what I do is I'm gonna do a bar out okay so Let's say I start uh, at one, three. This doesn't. It, this uh, number doesn't matter. My f what matters is that my final point is going to be at eight seventy. Okay. So I'm going to go uh, to toolpath, plane change. I'm going to be on X, Z, and X, Y two plane. And you'll see this is that one point three, and this is that eight seventy. What I need, I need. Uh, one of these lines technically which is going to be flat to match with that 870 so the way i'm going to do this i'm going to use line left on x and c removing uh stock removing it's going to be thirty thousand. um it's actually going to be more than that but uh it's just going to do one roughing pass and one uh finish pass so if you have a, if you're gonna be removing 120,000, you can put 120. If it's one pass, it doesn't matter. Same thing as the SRV R, how much stock you're removing based on adapt. I put 20,000. What that actually does is, for example, if you have to go half an inch deep and you're saying you're removing half an inch, it's it's gonna go half an inch very slowly, and then it's gonna come down a cutting part. If you put 20,000, it's just gonna wrap it. And then it's gonna come down that's all it is it's just how uh, it's really the approach uh, that the SRV makes a difference in that particular instance uh, my finish a and my fender C and then my tooling a depth of cut 40,000 same thing it's just gonna do one pass uh, width of cut uh, I'm using a half an inch middle so you can put technically 0.4 even if you want speeds and feet now so this is going to be done in two lines so i have two left uh, they're identical the only difference is this goes from zero to minus 90 and then we flip uh, flip it and we go from 180 to minus 270 right so zero 90 remember 90 okay, so we switch another 90 which is 180 plus 90 it's 270 so zero 90 and then 180 and 270 respectively except we put minuses here is because that's how the machine's gonna rotate um so i got two numbers um as you see let me see the depth of the, how deep we're going we're going 315,000 deep and my r uh that's gonna be the dimension when it comes to that uh from the center uh to the corner so like like i said from here to here i have it at 600 
and the other one I got at a 350, right? So this is why when I do this, I can use two of them and I see this one is 600 and this is 350. So I see the 600 is almost there. So once that line is gonna, we can even maybe make it bigger, 0.2. So once that line is going to be perfectly with that radius, I know that's going to be my, uh, that's going to be my number. So right now it's at six. So let's call it 610. All right. So we're going to get it bigger by 10,000. Tool path. Part. 0.1. See, we're right at the money. We add 50, maybe 5,000 more. So 0 0.615, 0 0.615, two path, part, channel change, 0.1. Okay, we're right there. So this is going to be, so let's make this scale change uh, 0.4. Let me see if it's going to, okay, so as you see, this is perfect. I'm gonna go here. I'm also gonna put 615 here. 0.615 here. Program to path. And now I'm gonna do a part. And now as you see, it's here and it's here. Let's do a scale change 0.3. Then we can go and do that path continue. Perfect. As you see, it's going to run this and it's going to run that. Like I said, and this is going to be, um, this is my ideal number. Now, if, for example, um, when you do turning and you want to make sure that your size is good, you can always jump on an offset on your X, right? So if you're turning, you can put 10,000 plus 10,000 plus 15,000. Well, obviously, you can do that over here too, but you can also lie to the machine and tell the machine that my end mill is actually bigger so she's gonna cut smaller so the end mill i'm gonna use is on the station 10. okay so station 10. i'm gonna tell the machine my end mill is uh instead of half an inch it's half an inch and ten thousand so it should leave me with ten thousand extra um uh once i uh extra stock once I measure the part all right guys so uh, thank you for watching hopefully uh, this is uh, uh, helpful to some of you uh, appreciate your watching and your time and uh, see you next video